what we really wanted to do in the first place, not focus only on contemporary art, but focus on art in general. Literature is an amazing art form. Music is, for me, is one of the biggest art forms. Design, architecture. That was the main idea, to bring all different art forms together. So we tried to create this voice of different art forms, bringing it together and creating these different dialogues. I think for the country, uh, it, it really helped everyone a lot to meet those people and to talk about their inspiration, to talk about their lives. I'm another photographer. I'm a parasite of subject matter, and I happen to really like the wildlife. So I went there for animals in 1955. And I was in a summer vacation from school, and I barely went back to school, but I did, and then I moved to Africa immediately. We came up and with the idea of doing cultural dialogues. And cultural dialogues is a word, it's, uh, it's a, it has, can, could have very broad meanings. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of larger than life statements, but for me, dialogue means sharing. And if it's a good dialogue, you can inspire the people who are listening to. And, and the whole festival is about people talking with each other about dialogues and, and all the participants are extremely generous because they're sharing their most intimate details about the process of creating, about their work, about their life and I think they inspire the audience. Yeah, we would drive in the city and search for elderly people, you know. <laughs> Like guys searching for women, but we would look for elderly people. Oh, stop the car, stop the car. And the I'm nice thing is you have this time to stop, park, and then, you know, they're still walking they around the so corner. They walk so slow, you can catch them. <laughs> the people in Cuba, the education is very strong. And culture is also a very high point there. Artists, musicians, um, creative people are pretty, pretty much valued in the highest level of society. And just regular people are very poetic, and they wanted to sort of join in every moment that they could in anything that we were doing. And every day we were surprised by just anyone coming up to us, young, old, saying the most beautiful things. Each panel has its own, own amazing moments. But I was like really very impressed with JR and Jose when they were telling about their story, what they did in Cuba. And we are planning to do something in Istanbul together, so it's really... It really made me very excited about doing something in Istanbul with them. So I was so inspired. You know, as a Buddhist, every single one of us is an individual that is unlike any other. Whether you believe in reincarnation or not, I mean, the idea that the spirit that is you is everlasting, has never, was born and never died, it could never not be. There are artists who I'm very familiar with so of course and their panels are amazing and then it, on the other side there are artists who as I, I was less familiar with with their work especially James Nairs who is the last panel of the festival and we had a screening of his film not that I'm singling him out but you know Abel Ferreira say Hussein Peter Beard I was familiar with their work for years and years and James Nair showed me how ignorant I was without not knowing his work and I, I think his film is amazing, it absolutely blew me away.